Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up VPN service on an ASUS router and connect to it using a Mac. So the first thing we need to do is log into our ASUS router interface. And this should work with most ASUS routers that support uh, VPN. So if you go to your, if you don't know your, how to get to your router, you need to go to your gateway IP. So on a Mac, you can type netstat space dash nr pipe space grep space default. And you'll see default here and it has your IP address. So if you type that into a web browser, then you'll need to enter your username and password for your router. And hopefully you have all that set up and hopefully you're not using the default username and password for your router. So once you get into your router, so before we get the VPN set up, you may wanna to go to WAN on the left here and then go to DDNS and then we'll hit enable DDNS client. And here you can choose a DDNS service. So you can just use ASUS and with ASUS, you type in your host name you want to use, .asuscom.com, and then it will check the system and see if that's available. And that will set up a dynamic DNS. So if, you're, if you have a DHCP on your WAN address, if that changes, um, this will update. So you always have an address. And the VPN service on the ASUS router will utilize that. If you have a static IP, this isn't exactly necessary. And also, if you have an IP that's dynamic, but it never really changes, like say if you're setting this up before you go on vacation, um, it, it may just work um, using the same IP. So that's one thing you may want to do is set up this dynamic DNS and you just hit yes here, enter your name and hit apply. And then next you want to go to the VPN here. And you have two choices here. You have, um, we're on VPN server and then you have PPTP and then open v VPN. So we want to click on open VPN and here you want to click on, uh, I already have it on here, and then VPN details, we just have general. And then you can do RSA encryption, you can do a 1024 by 2048. So you can get all this set up and then you can try some of these different settings or play with it a little bit. This is just a basic setup. And then client will use VPN to access and you could say local network only or internet and local network. So. If you want to connect back to your house so you can connect to your server, local network only might work. But if you're on an untrusted network, like in a hotel, you may want to click this internet and local network. That way all of your traffic gets routed through your home internet account. So um, next we want to go down here and we need to add an account. So I'll just say uh, demo and then my password, I'll just say demo pass. And I'm gonna be deleting this obviously after this video. So I'll add that on here. And then I'll hit apply. And as far as I know, this doesn't reset the whole router. <laughs> okay, then I want to export the OpenVPN configuration file. And that exported it to my downloads folder. And then we want to go down here um, and click on Mac OS since we're on Mac to bring up this uh, support page and we want to click on the tunnel Blick installer and it has moved so we want to click on the new address we want to go to downloads and then we'll download the stable version here so that's downloading I'll click the magnifying glass this will take to my downloads folder I'll double click on this and I'll install it I'll double click on this, I'll hit open. I'll type my username and password in. Okay, it's starting up here. Okay, and it says, welcome to Tunnel Blick. It says there are no con VPN configurations installed. So I want to click on I have configuration files. We'll hit OK here. Okay, we can go up here and hit VPN details. And then I'll open up my downloads. And I'll grab that uh, OVPN file and I'll just drag it on here. And it says, do you want to install this for all users or only me? So I'll click only me. 
It wants my username and password. And it says this may not connect in the future due to like some configuration things. I'm just gonna say okay on that for now. And now it should be set up so we can just click connect here. And it says a username and password are required. So I'm gonna hit save this in the keychain. I'll type demo. Actually, I'm not gonna save this because this is just for this thing. So I'll say demo pass. But you typically you'd wanna maybe save that in your keychain. I'll hit okay. And you'll see the status up here. And it says it's connected. It gives us a couple of error messages here. I'll just hit okay here. So we are connected. You can click up here and it says disconnect all. So we have this set up here. I'm at my on this network right now. So this is a good way to test it. And then you'd ideally want to test it off site. So you could go to like a local library or a coffee shop or something and connect up to this network and make sure it works before you go say like on a long trip and you're in a hotel room, you're not gonna be able to diagnose and check things once you're in the hotel room, um, you know, cause then you can't travel back to your house to make an adjustment. So this will then get in you into your network. So you could, you could access your, your ASUS router from here. You could access anything on the router. If you have it set up, you can actually access any other website and it'll go through your router. So if your hotel blocks anything or you just want some security, you can set this VPN up and um, you know, go through your home internet, which hopefully is more trusted than the hotel internet, but that may not always be the case. So this is just the basics of setting up a VPN using OpenVPN on an ASUS router and connecting to it on a Mac. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.